Hey everybody, what's going on? Thanks for swinging by, I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Oh, hi Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. Once again, we are going to be talking about what I think is quite possibly one of the most beautiful AKs out on the market today, and that is going to be the Sestava M70 ZPAP. This particular one is what they call their Battle Worn series. Not sure where they're getting that because it is just absolutely gorgeous. Now, if you haven't already seen my previous video on the M70, I'll leave a card at the end so you guys can look at some of the differences. There's not going to be too many differences. There are three major ones between my original M70 and this one, and kind of where I got into a bit of a discussion with a lot of people who were saying that I didn't know what I was talking about, and uh, so on and so forth. We'll talk about all of that here in just a second. Now, I purchased this from my local shop, American Cash Exchange. It's my home away from home. Love those guys down there. They are huge fans of the channel, and I appreciate all of their support. When I walked in and saw this on the wall, I immediately pulled it down, put it on the counter, and bought it. I didn't care what the price was because, first and foremost, I absolutely love the M70s. And this furniture set on here is quite possibly one of the best looking furniture sets that I've seen on any imported rifle right now. If you are interested in purchasing something that is, you know, inexpensive and just going to be a workhorse, the two rifles that I would highly recommend would be like the Palmetto State Armory GF3 or a Wasser. Either one of those are just going to run no matter what. The Wasser is going to be uh, extremely compatible with a lot of aftermarket products that are on the market today. And uh, I will say that the American-made Palmetto State Armory GF3 is probably going to be one of the best American-made versions of the AK out there. If you're not familiar, if this is the first time you've ever seen this type of rifle, this is a Yugoslavian variant to the AK, so it's going to have a longer handguard. Uh, the pistol grip is going to be different. It's going to have a little bit different geometry on the buttstock as well and it's going to be mounted to the rear trunnion a little bit differently also. So just keep those nuances in mind because if you do decide to pick one of these up, you're going to have to ensure that you are buying Yugoslavian variations on the aftermarket and not an AKM. That is one of the biggest downsides to this. However, since I did my first M70 video, we have seen a massive increase on the types of things that you can purchase for a Yugo style rifle. And I really do appreciate that from companies like RS Regulate and Midwest Industries and so on and so forth. So that is something I really appreciate. Okay, so let's talk about some of the differences between this rifle and my first rifle. Like I said, I had gotten into a bit of a discussion with a number of people in my comment feed because uh, they didn't know that there were two different variations of the M70 on the market at the same time. And with that being said, a lot of people were saying that I didn't know what I was talking about and my rifle had a chrome line barrel and so on and so forth. Uh, not to mention they were <laughs> making fun of me because I was saying Zustava instead of Zestava. Um, you know, I'm a hick from Kansas. Who cares what I say? But <laughs> uh, at the end of the day, the M70 that I had was from the first batch being imported into the United States from like 2016, 2017, 2018. And uh, those had just a standard receiver, standard front trunnion, and just a plain barrel. In late 2019, 2020, they started importing this quote unquote upgraded version, and that is going to have a 1.5 millimeter receiver, a bulge trunk trunnion, and a chrome line barrel. Now the confusion was both of these were on the market at the same time as they were phasing the old ones out and ramping up production on this new one. So People would go into the store, they would look at this one, they'd see there's a chrome line barrel, they'd see my video, and then they're like, you don't know what you're talking about. And I totally understand the confusion. I'm not faulting them one bit, but you know, believe it or not guys, I do a bit of research when it comes to 
<laughs> doing some of these videos. I'm not saying that I know everything, but I knew what I was talking about back then and yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, this one came in right around that $1,100 mark. Uh, you probably can find them for under $1,000 depending on when and where you buy them. Uh, but usually $1,000 to $1,100 is right around what you'd expect to purchase one of these. And to be frankly honest with you, I think that's a fair price. The M70, I would say, is probably upper mid-tier when it comes to AKs. Obviously, you've got your rifle dynamics, you've got your Meridian Defense, you got your Lee Armories that are out there as well, and those are really, really good rifles. Then you have your Wasser. And there's nothing wrong with a Wasser. If you're looking for a workhorse that is just going to run, a Romanian imported Wasser is the way to go. But if you're looking for something that has a lot more fit and finish to it, that would have furniture sets as beautiful as this one, um, that is going to be not over gassed like the Wasser is, the Zestava is quite possibly the route to go for you guys for sure. Now, uh, this is a bit of an unboxing video, so all of the shooting uh, reels that you're seeing is going to be from my original uh, M70. And uh, like I said, that rifle was just a delight to shoot. I do not expect this one to be any different. Uh, I expect it to be pretty flat shooting, uh, really easy ability for you to ride the recoil. And as a lot of people say, it functions like a sewing machine. So, you know, it's kind of against your shoulder and then you push it back out and it's just flat back and forth. So that's something I uh, have really enjoyed about this rifle. So uh, what are we going to do from here? To be honest with you guys, as beautiful as this thing is, I don't expect it to be out at the range very much. I'll uh, take it out and just kind of get it worked in a little bit put a couple hundred rounds through it. Maybe do some accuracy testing with it as well, just to see if I can uh, <laughs> make myself feel a little bit better about my shooting because the first time I uh, did some accuracy testing on the first M70, it didn't turn out so well. Uh, a lot of people are saying that I don't know how to shoot and that's fair. It could have totally been me, but one of the things that I will say is the rail on here is a Yugo pattern, something we've already talked about already. So you want to make sure that the uh, scope mount that you're going to be using for this rifle fits a Yugo pattern. Now I had an RS regulate uh, one, but I don't know if I had it installed correctly. So that is one of the main issues that uh, could have caused some accuracy issues. We're going to get this one back out. We're going to test it again and see if there has been any changes. So there you have it. With that being said, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the Zestava M70s? Do you like their M90s? Do you like their M92, their M90, M90, M85s rather? Uh, those are the four rifles that I would love to be able to go out and purchase. Um, I've already had an M70, I've already had an M85, love those to death. I would love to get my hands on an M92 and an M90. Those would be uh, really cool, but unfortunately my bank account doesn't necessarily <laughs> allow me to do that. But I leave it to you guys. What do you guys think of the M70? Let me know down in the comment section down below. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. I really do appreciate you guys swinging by and checking out. Hey, if you guys like this shirt, this is a uh, new company that I found when I was just at this uh, gun show down in Tulsa here recently. It's a show that I've gone to every single year. It's one of the biggest in the world, if not the biggest. And I came across this uh, shirt company called uh, Black on Ammo. I'll leave a link down in the description below if you guys are interested in swinging by and checking them out. Please do. I would uh, appreciate it until the day. So let me know what you guys think. Catch you guys later. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Bye, y'all.